Hello, here is the presentation for English Literature, Language, Sociology and History A-Levels. Uh, my name is Lawrence, if you haven't watched the first presentation of today, and I'm the head of A-Levels here at the Eastbourne campus. So, off we go. So, here are the humanities team, currently consisting of Jeff Hobbs, who is the history lecturer. Jeff has been a teacher for 18 years and he's previously taught in a secondary school. And then he's been teaching at the college for four years now. He loves teaching about Russia and China in the 20th century and enjoys meeting and working with new students every year. Sophie Wells has been an English teacher for 15 years and she's never experienced a dull moment. She feels there's always something else new to discover, especially with the help of innovative teenagers who are flexible with how they use language. One of her favorite areas of language to teach is the history of English language and how it has developed and continues to develop. From the Viking words of war, such as ransack and gun, to the multicultural London English of bruv and in it. It's never a boring moment for her. Sociology A-level. So this is looking at the how sociologists study the relationship between individuals and society. This course requires and encourages you to develop a critical view of the world that you live in and question some of the opinions and stereotypes that exist in society. Sociology is not just about Britain. It also deals with global issues, including the environment, migration and globalisation itself. So in terms of course entry criteria, you need at least GCSE English language at grade B or 5 and sociology at grade C or 4 if you've taken it. This is alongside at least four other GCSEs at so grades 5 and above. So what will you study? In the first year you gain an understanding of the themes of culture and socialisation and apply these issues to the role of youth cultures and the media in contemporary society. Alongside these topics you'll also learn about the main research methods sociology, sociologists use when they're conducting their studies. In year two, the core themes are social inequalities and stratification. You'll also explore in detail the nature and causes of inequalities, both in the UK and globally. In terms of what you can do after your course, you can go straight into employment or education. A traditional occupation for sociology students has been social work or another form of social welfare work. However, in practice, sociology students go into a much wider range of jobs, including human resource management. What's unique about our courses? Sociology is a fantastic opportunity to debate issues, often with lively and enthralling class discussions, with a large amount of language, theory and concepts to consider. Within the current climate, many protests are taking place around the world, and it's even more important that you as students are encouraged to explore such issues and try to understand the social behaviours. On to History A level now. So in terms of entry criteria for this course, you need at least five GCSEs, including maths and English language at grade five and above. If you've taken history at GCSE, that also requires a grade five or higher. So what will you study? In year one, you'll study about Russia from 1917 to 1991 and China from 1949 to 1976. In year two, you will study about the British Empire from 1763 to 1914. In addition, you will complete coursework on why Stalin or Stalin won the struggle for power in Russia after Lenin's death. What can you do after your course? Well, this course can provide a pathway to study a whole range of subjects at university. And history is seen as a facilitating subject by all universities and therefore it's highly prized. History combines well with other A-levels, including English language, literature, business studies and sociology. It is a gateway to most university courses and includes a wide range of skills that are valuable for any career. What's unique about our courses? So this course is designed for those who are curious about the major events of the modern period. If you dis enjoy discussing and debating the controversial issues associated with modern historical events, then this is the course for you. You will need to have, a stro have strong literacy skills as there is a lot of reading, researching and essay writing. On to English Literature A-Level. So this course aims to encourage you to develop your interest and enjoyment of literature and literary studies. You will also read widely and independently, both set text, texts and others that you have selected for yourself. You will develop and apply your knowledge of literary analysis and evaluation in writing. Course entry criteria requires two sixes of GCSE in English language and literature, alongside three other GCSEs of grades five or above. In terms of what you'll study, over the two-year course you'll explore the contexts of the work you are reading, considering the interpretations of others and possible ways of responding to them. 
Set texts will consist of both classics and modern works of literature, including prose, poetry, and drama. In the second year, you will complete coursework based on post-1900s texts, developing independent skills of reading and research. What can you do after your course? Most students will progress to higher education after completing English literature aid. You could pursue a career in media, journalism, publishing, careers, teaching, advertising, PR, or even go into a law degree or business or finance. What's unique about your courses are that we regularly organize trips to the theater and other places of interest to students of English literature. The Young Vic in London, the outdoor Shakespeare productions in Brighton, Strawberry Hill and Twickenham, home of Sir Horace Walpole, who wrote the first English Gothic novel. We hold events for National Poetry Day and annual creative writing competition with workshops sponsored by the Asham Literary Trust. So there's all sorts going on. On to English language A-level and the course entry criteria, the standard six GCSEs at level four and above, but you must also have at least a level six in English language. Over the two years of the course, you will study textual variation and representation, where you will analyze texts closely to understand how events, people and ideas are represented through the different language at levels of lexis, semantics, graphology, phonology, prosodics, pragmatics and grammar. Language diversity will also be a topic where you examine language across gender, grit, geographical location, social class, ethnicity, sexuality and occupation and the attitudes towards them. Language change will also be considered where, you're, where the history of the English language from the influences of Germanic tribes to the world of Englishes of modern times. Language in action, finally, is the coursework element where you have the opportunity to investigate your choice of language and present your findings in a report format. You will also write your own piece showing either the style of persuasion, storytelling or information. What can you do after your course? So English language is a subject that gives you many flexible skills in analysis and understanding. The skills of communication, written and spoken, analysis and theoretical understanding prepare you well for many careers such as journalism and publishing, education and training, counselling and social services, marketing and sales, advertising and management. What's unique about the courses in English language are that it doesn't only develop your fascination with how language works with, within us and the world around us, but it also many transferable skills that can be used across many careers. So the skills that you'll develop will be research skills, critical thinking, essay writing, analytical skills, and attention to detail and crafting arguments. The English language classroom is also a place where you can safely discuss different ideas that are sometimes sensitive in order to fully develop your understanding of the world around you. So how will you study? The studies will take place in a variety of locations, for example, the classroom, the library, trips, which will be linked to the topics and assessments that you'll be doing. The aim is to make the courses as engaging as possible. So part of that is through promoting collaboration through creative approaches to lessons. In terms of student life, there's many resources at your fingertips at the Eastbourne campus, whether it's physical resources such as books or sports facilities, including the gym, or the digital resources and great career support that we have on offer. We also have a wellbeing team who are on hand to support any pastoral needs, and with numerous themed events throughout the year to promote awareness of different causes, the campus is a really busy place. You can enrol on any of the sports academies, which include women net, women's netball, men's and women's football, as well as a Wednesday afternoon sports slot with the other sports activities on offer. In terms of additional costs, there's no fees associated with the courses currently. However, it's recommended that you have some money you set aside to purchase textbooks and pay for any trips that are arranged throughout the course. It's also recommended that you purchase lever arch files, notepads with dividers and a full set of stationery because they'll be doing a lot of study. You can set up payment plans for your course as well as being access to, as well as being able to access specific grants for assistance with finance. In terms of our plans for September, we are planning to go ahead as, as usual with the government's latest advice. However, this is subject to change. We're fully prepared to deliver online if we need to, and we'll be delivering face-to-face -face lessons with a mixture of other different bits and pieces as well. So by face-to-face, -face, I mean webcam to, to webcam. We'll try our best to do as many live lessons as possible. Thank you very much for listening to the, to the presentation and join us now for the Q&A.